This morning, the search continues for the person who caused a car crash that killed a four-year-old girl. Yeah, so she was a passenger in a car that was forced off the road and into a utility pole. News for Jack's uh, reporter Brianna Andrews is joining us now live near where this happened. Brianna, our crime and safety expert is actually giving us more insight into what makes cases like this really difficult to solve. Den and Mel, Jacksonville police were called over here to Merrill Road Saturday night after a hit and run crash. Now, I want to show you over here. It looks like there's still some possible debris left over from the crash. You see two cones and a destroyed road close sign. Now, witnesses say the SUV a family was in was forced off the road when a small car changed lanes. The four year old died here at the scene. The driver and another child were hurt. Police say no one has reported their involvement in the crash. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst, Tom Hackney, who has been a part of investigations like this for close to 30 years, explains what it may take to find the person responsible. Obviously, it's an upsetting thing, but they're they're working to, to hide their their actions, obviously, because they didn't stop for the police or stop for you know, investigations. So they're more than likely able to talk about that to somebody and and somebody who hears that and knows that a four-year-old child has been killed as a result of this really needs to pick up the phone now this was the 16th deadliest crash in duval county this year right now the only description of the car that left the scene is that it was a light colored sedan with damage on the passenger side now if you know anything at all about what happened call gso or crime stoppers for now reporting live Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.